North Korea demands Mike Pompeo is replaced as U.S. envoy by someone who is more careful and mature as officials say he talks nonsense and question his intelligence the North's foreign ministry said U.S. Secretary of State was talking nonsense if he also question whether he is indeed able to understand words proper live latest provocation comes after Kim Jong-un oversaw a new weapons test by Tim Stickings for DailyMail.com and Reuters and AFP published, 806 BST, April 18, 2019, updated, 1648 BST. April 18, 2019 North Korea has demanded that Mike Pompeo stand down from talks with Pyongyang to be replaced by someone who is more careful and mature in communicating. The country's foreign ministry said Pompeo was talking nonsense amid failing efforts to reach a peace deal over Kim Jong-un's nuclear ambitions. Pyongyang called Pompeo reckless and questioned his intelligence, questioning whether he is indeed unable to understand words properly. The latest provocation comes after North Korean leader Kim oversaw the testing of a new tactical guided weapon. Happier times, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un meets U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Pyongyang last year. Kim's regime has demanded that Pompeo is replaced as envoy The KCNA news agency quoted Guan Zhonggun, an official at the North's foreign ministry, as saying today that no one can predict the situation if the United States does not abandon the root cause of the nuclear standoff. I am afraid that, if Pompeo engages in the talks again, the table will be lousy once again and the talks will become entangled, Guan said. Therefore, even in the case of possible resumption of the dialogue with the U.S., I wish our dialogue counterpart would be not Pompeo but another, person who is more careful and mature in communicating with us. We cannot be aware of Pompeo's ulterior motive behind his self-indulgence in reckless remarks, whether he is indeed unable to understand words properly or just pretending on purpose. Pompeo had insisted on Monday that Kim should keep his promise to give up nuclear weapons sooner than Pyongyang was offering. Kim had said he would wait till the end of this year for the United States to decide to be more flexible. Asked about Kim's statement last week that he was only interested in meeting Trump again if the United States came with the right attitude, Pompeo said the U.S was determined to move forward diplomatically. Pompeo said Kim had made a commitment to denuclearize and we collectively need to see that outcome move forward. It is not the first time North Korea has singled out Pompeo for special criticism. When the Secretary of State met with North Korean officials in Pyongyang in July last year, he was condemned for his gangster-like insistence that the North move towards unilateral disarmament. The latest military operation marked the North's first public weapons test since a second summit with the United States ended without agreement in February. The weapon has a peculiar mode of guiding flight and a powerful warhead, KCNA said. North Korea has demanded that Mike Pompeo, pictured, stand down from talks with Pyongyang to be replaced by someone who is more careful and mature in communicating Kim said the completion of the development of the weapon system serves as an event of very weighty significance in increasing the combat power of the North Korean army. Experts said the description that the test was conducted in various modes of firing at different targets likely meant that it could be launched from the ground, sea and air. A second summit between Kim and U.S. President Donald Trump in Hanoi in February failed to make any progress towards denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The first historic meeting in Singapore last year had sparked hopes of a deal but relations have deteriorated again since then. Sanctions against the North, over its nuclear and missiles programs remain in place. Satellite images from last week showed movement at Yongbyon, North Korea's main nuclear site, that could be associated with the reprocessing of radioactive material into bomb fuel, according to a U.S. think tank. 
Kim never promised to stop testing all weapons in his military arsenal, just nuclear weapons and ICBMs that have the potential to hit the U.S. Homeland, said Harry Kazianis of the Washington-based Center for the National Interest. Let